are you expecting something expectation brings realization say it aloud say it for Oh, say it for your neighbor there it has come let's pray together father in the name of jesus we thank you and we glorify your name we know that you are a mighty god you have not changed you are the same yesterday today and forever and whatever you've done in other people's lives we know you are going to repeat it in every life we come to you right now and we're asking lord you manifest your power in everyone's life in jesus name blind eyes to open lame legs to be strengthened goiter to vanish away joblessness to vanish away and lord i pray the expectation of your people will be fulfilled in jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus mighty name we pray thank you very much you can sit down we're looking at isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 it says but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run they shall not be weary they shall walk they shall not fade the time of weariness ascended for you at the time of fainting the time of falling at the time of discouragement it has gone in jesus name many times when you come for a program like this you feel excited you're lifted up it's like something great has happened and then after that many people they go back to square one where they were before but this time it's not up and then down up permanently that's why i want to talk to you on the life of a soaring eagle the life of a soaring eagle because they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they those people who wait upon the lord they will mount up with wings as eagles now you were wrong and not be weary you will run and not be weary i run a little i get tired i want to sit down it's like i'm fainting today all that is over i walk here and there and it's like i am panting give me some fresh air there blow it on me don't let me die that spirit of death i cancel you in jesus name life is beginning today i said life is beginning today renewed life resurrection life restored life the life of an eagle is beginning in your life today in jesus name the life of a soaring eagle how many points do i have today one two three after that three on your search mark go you'll get there number one number one the transformation of a symbolic eagle the transformation of a symbolic eagle you see the eagle here is a symbol for the believer the eagle here is a symbol for the christian 
the eagle here is a symbol for members of the body of Christ. The eagle here is a symbol for a person praying and waiting upon the Lord. A symbolic eagle. The transformation of a symbolic eagle. Number two, the training of a strengthened eagle. The training God gives us as the mother bird gives the training to the eaglets is to train us make us strong make us go up make us go higher and higher and higher that's why the lord has brought you here he wants to train you up he wants to trim your life he wants to change your life and when you go through this training you will be up you'll never come down the training of a strengthened eagle. Number three, the triumph of a soaring eagle. The triumph of a soaring eagle. I see success before you. I see triumph before you. If you believe, my brother, you'll see the glory of God. If you my sister there you will see the glory of God the past is gone the present is renewed the future is going to be brighter the triumph of a soaring eagle number one the transformation of the symbolic eagle Let, let's come to Psalm 103 Psalm 103 And I'm reading from verse 1 Bless the Lord, O my soul And all that is within me Bless His holy name Bless the Lord, O my soul And forget not How many? All His benefits Multiple Benefits are coming upon your life. Every day will have its own promise. Every day will have its own fulfillment. Every day will have its own blessing and benefit. You will not forget. Verse 3 Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? How many? All thine iniquities and this was even before calvary you know there are some christians they think that god has forgiven the small minor little common ordinary sins but they have something in their mind that's a particular one they judge to be big to be great they say it was not an ordinary sin they say it was a transgression they say it was an iniquity they say it was a great evil they say what am i saying it is a crime and so that is in their mind they think all the other little little sins error mistake all those ones have been forgiven but this big one this crime this iniquity has not been forgiven i come to tell you from the word of god calvary has settled all your accounts and the moment you look at jesus christ you can say praise the lord he has forgiven all my iniquities you believe it it is so in jesus name and then it says who he less tell me who he less tell me all thy what diseases again there are some people if they have headache they say oh god heal me i believe i believe headache is gone if they have a little stomach a problem oh lord heal me they believe it's like it is not but they say there are some kinds of sicknesses and these sicknesses hiv aids 
this one is serious or cancer this one is serious or it may be tuberculosis hepatitis whatever this is serious come back here who forgiveth how many iniquities all thine iniquities and who healeth tell me he healeth all thy diseases you are healed in jesus name the transformation of your body the transformation of your brain the transformation of your career the transformation of your spirit the transformation of your soul the transformation of a symbolic eagle he will do it for you all those sicknesses you receive the healing and the cure the deliverance in jesus name verse 4 who redeemeth thy life from destruction destruction in the day is gone destruction in the dream is gone destruction from the demons is gone destruction from the devil is gone destruction from the consequence of what you did in the past is cancelled in jesus name he redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee you are wearing a crown who crowns thee i said you are wearing a crown you may not see the crown satan will see the crown your enemies will see the crown you are now a king and you have crown on your head and you go about like a king not like the poor fellow the prisoner that we knew before something has happened already and when you speak it's the word of a king when you talk it is the utterance of a king authority will go back home with you he crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies mercies will surround you love will surround you helpers will surround you the people that will lift you up that will support you they will surround you in jesus name you will never lack help you will never lack support because there is a renewal for this symbolic eagle look at verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with it satisfies your mouth with it satisfies my mouth say that with what good things so that the youth is renewed like the eagles the youth is renewed like the eagles all those weaknesses of old age i cancel from your life in jesus name a renewal a renewal of every cell in your body a renewal of every bone in your body a renewal of every cell in your brain the wisdom to remember the life of real active remembrance i transfer to you now in jesus name because now your life is renewed new strength new ability a new understanding the lord put upon your life in jesus name you know sometimes when you are reading and you try you said i'm going to read 10 pages of this book you read page one and then as you're reading page two it's like your eyes are tired your mind is tired your brain is tired and then you say i wanted to read 10 pages i'm just on page two everything is tired and then you close the book you say looks like 
I don't know how to read again. I closed the book, open that book again. I said, open that book again. All the books of activity and the books of progress and the books of vision and the books of flying beyond the ordinary that you think I cannot, I cannot, and you have closed it, open that book again. Because now we are getting started. Now you are getting started. A new thing will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Because he renews your youth like the life of the eagle. It will happen in Jesus' name. Renewal. I say renewal. It will renew everything in your life in Jesus' name. Do you know that tomorrow will be better than yesterday? Do you know that this year will be better than last year? Do you know that after this renewal, your life will be better than it was any other time in Jesus' name? You know, somebody said, the good old days. I say, the better new days. Good old days, thank God for them. For something greater, something better, something higher. Because there's a renewal in the life of every eagle. And because of that renewal, something better has come in your life. Point number two, the training of a strengthened eagle. The training of a strengthened eagle. Why does the mother eagle train the little eaglets? Let me show you. In Job chapter 17, Job chapter 17, I'm reading from verse 9. Job chapter 17, we're reading from verse 9. You'll see the reason why the mother eagle trains the little eaglets. Verse 9, the righteous who is that the righteous where is he the one who have been washed and cleansed by the blood of the lamb you have made the great exchange you have given your sin to jesus and jesus has given you his righteousness he puts righteousness in your soul righteousness in your spirit righteousness upon you so that when heaven sees you heaven will see the righteousness of christ in you and it's not theoretical practical your life will be righteous in jesus name the righteous also shall hold on his way and he that is clean of hands shall be tell me he that is clean has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger the purpose of training the reason why the mother eagle will train those little little eagles is to make them stronger and stronger stronger and stronger stronger and stronger you will not be weaker and weaker you will not be lower and lower you'll be stronger and stronger in jesus name how does that happen through the training of an eagle that is being strengthened day after day there's something important about training you have a goal therefore you have a scheme in the training and you say i am training this person to achieve this to become this to get to this level any area of training there's a scheme for the training the same thing as god is training you he has a goal he has a scheme if you remain in that training god is a successful trainer he will not fail he will train you to become who he wants you to become did you hear that? 
he will train you to become who he has ordained and planned that you will become you'll become it in jesus name that's the goal for the trainer and there is the achievement catch achievement level for the person we're training jeremiah chapter 29 jeremiah chapter 29 what are you doing from verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you that's the planner of your training scheme that's your coach that's the creator that's the almighty god who brought you into this world number one and he brought you into the kingdom number two and he says i have a goal i have a purpose i have a reason for bringing you into the kingdom and i have something i want to see from this life nobody will take your place i said nobody will take your place that place he has ordained for you he will train you for it that's why you have the training of the strengthened eagle it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil tell me the rest to give you an expected end there is a goal for the training now the student may not see the scheme of training and the final outcome but the lecturer the professor he knows that and you may not see the goal but god knows that and god will train you to fit into what the lord has ordained for you in jesus name think about joseph many times when you read the life of joseph he had a dream that dream was revelation of where god was taking him he was going to be a prime minister somewhere he didn't know and then the brothers they hated him and they sold him into egypt it was step one of his training he lived in the house of Potiphar to learn management, to learn administration. And Potiphar was an officer of the king. How the officers of kings, how they behave, he learned that there. It was the next stage of his training. And then a lie was told against him. And so, when he finished in the of Potiphar, he was transferred to the prison. It was the next stage of the training. He didn't know it was training, but he was coming nearer and nearer to the expected end. You are coming nearer. All the things that are happening to you, training is not something you enjoy every time. The time of enjoyment is still coming. I said it's still coming. Look at those uh, people that play games. Either they are playing game of punching a bag, or they are playing game of kicking a ball, or they are playing a game of wrestling, or they are playing a game of running. It's not easy. But the reward, the award will come after the training. And so for Joseph, he saw these two people, their dreams. And then he saw them sad. And he said, why are you sad? You know the story. He interpreted the dream for them. And he told one of them, remember me. That one went and did not remember him. It's part of the training. God will not graduate you into unemployment in Jesus' name. If that man has spoken to Pharaoh, about uh, joseph before pharaoh had his dream joseph could have been delivered and released from the prison but he will be released into unemployment that's not the will of god for you that's not the will of god for me anybody there that's not the will of god for me 
and so two years after at the appropriate time god will not fail you your time will not pass you every step of your way at the appropriate time every mark in your life at the appropriate time every corner in your life at the appropriate time pharaoh had a dream and then there was nobody to interpret the dream when you are the person to interpret nobody else will be available when you are the god has been training you he has trained you now you have to come and assume your post and your place and your position they will not find another person to replace you at that time in jesus name and the man said i remember my fault today there is a man in the prison we are dreams he interpreted for go and call him and they called him there he interpreted the dream and then pharaoh said you are the man we're looking for the nation will look for you i said the nation will look for you eventually his brothers came wanting food and what did they do they fell on the ground before him was his dream fulfilled? Was his dream fulfilled? How? Because if you throw the training, everything happening to you is a training for you. You will get there. Don't quit the school of your training. Don't quit. When things appear tough, it's your training. And you are soon getting there now see all that joseph had gone through from his father's house all the way with the ishmaelites onto egypt all the way to potiphar's house all the way to the prison what if one month before the two years before two years ended one month before pharaoh had his dream what if joseph just sat down and started thinking what is all this what have i done i've lived my life in righteousness i refuse to sin because i believe god was going to do something in my life and then i've gone through, and if he started recounting i've not seen my father now for these many years and i've not seen this for these many years and then if he gave up just one month before the fulfillment you will not give up i said you will not give up all those things that are happening they are for your good and they will turn out right in your life in jesus name romans chapter 8 verse 28 romans chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 28 and we know you will know and we know i said you will know and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God I love God I said I love God anybody there do you love God all things will work together for good for you dry your tears you're in a training school all those things happening that will train you up and it's preparing you for the place where you will be because we know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them who are the called according to his purpose and the purpose of your calling the lord will fulfill deuteronomy chapter 32 deuteronomy chapter 32 reading from verse 11 Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 11 the training of a strengthened eagle as an eagle stirreth up her nest fluttereth over her young spreadeth abroad her wings and taketh them and beareth them on her wings so the Lord alone did lead him and there was no strange god with him you see verse 11 there the eagle will go to 
a high mountain in teaching the young eagles to fly it will stir up the net trouble the net and then one of the eaglets will go out of the next and as that eaglet is going down the eagle is saying indirectly open your wings you can fly and then before that little eaglet hits the ground the big eagle will dive under that little eaglet and carry it and take it back to the nest the following day he'll start up the nest again and that little little eaglet will fall out of the nest and while it's going down the big eaglet will go there again before it hits the ground and then in the process of training that way that little eaglet will know how to fly you will know how to fly you will stretch those wings in jesus name the wings of prayer and faith they become useful they become profitable you will not die you will not hit the ground before you hit the ground the big wings of the almighty will carry you in jesus name Deuteronomy chapter 8 Deuteronomy chapter 8 the training that the Lord gave to the children of Israel and the training that is given unto us in the Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2 and thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what is in thine heart whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no and he humbled thee that's your training and he suffered permitted thee to hunger that's your training and he led thee and he fed thee with manna angels food he will give you food from heaven which thou knewest not neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee to know that man does not live by bread only but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god does man live that's why he's training you you will not abscond you will not run away from the training of the lord in jesus name and as you go through the training every day you'll be stronger and stronger stronger and stronger better and better higher and higher in jesus name point number three the triumph of the soaring eagle the victory of the soaring eagle the upliftment of the soaring eagle look up here for a moment you will not find any little eaglet that will be of the same strength low like that of a dog or like that of a of a, of a head because the eaglet is meant for the sky it's not made for the community just picking something on the ground and you an eaglet of the lord an eagle in the kingdom you are not made for the valley you are made for the top of the mountain and you will not disappoint god in jesus name on the side of god he will not disappoint you he will train you you will become what he has called you to become but remain faithful the top of the mountain is your destination high up in heaven is your destination it will happen high place high place high place will be yours in jesus name deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13 deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13 the triumph of the soaring eagle he made him ride on the high places of the earth who is that he made you
to write on the high places of the earth that ye might eat the increase of the fields you will not lack and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock you will have the increase of the earth all the blessings of this earth blessings will flow through to your life in jesus name Deuteronomy chapter 28 Deuteronomy chapter 28 here, here is your final story I said here is your final story and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all these commandments which I command you this day that the Lord thy God will search thee on high above all the nations of the earth you see the eagle flies higher higher than any bird and they that wait upon the lord shall mount up like eagles you will run you will not be weary you will walk and you will not fade have you ever seen any eagle flying, flying, flying? All of a sudden, that the eagle just dropped down because the eagle was tired. Have you seen that before? You see a wide ocean, a wide ocean from here, the shore here to the shore there, very, very far. And you see an eagle up there flying across, flying across. He never, that eagle never drops down to be drowned. This world will not drown you. The challenges of this life as you are flying over, as you are crossing over, will not drown you in Jesus' name. Because the Lord has appointed that you'll go through the high places of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against you one way. They shall flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. In thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto and it shall bless thee the land which the, which the Lord thy God giveth thee the Lord shall establish you the Lord will establish you and holy people unto himself as see as sworn unto thee if thou keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways and all people how many people your family the village your community the people that say you became a christian that something else will happen they will see i said they will see and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of you and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy ground in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give unto thee the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thee in a season and to bless all the work of your hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. 
thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou if thou hearken unto the commandment of the lord thy god which i command thee this day to observe and to do them you will fly high what the lord has said will come to pass in your life he will not fail you and you will not fail him he's training you to be a real eagle flying high and his covenant with you will be fulfilled in jesus name in uh, psalm 89 psalm 89 verse 27 i will make him my son my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth the lord will make you higher than the people you know verse 34 my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips the lord has a covenant with you right now he's going to show you greater things go to show you better things go to make you stronger and stronger they that wait upon the lord what happens you renew your strength you will mount up like the eagle the time has now come i said the time has now come you will run you will not be weary you will walk you will not faint fainting time is over time of weariness that's over time of discouragement that's over time of failure that's over rise up now and soar rise up now and begin to soar your future is bright your future is bright something better something greater something higher is waiting for you a lifetime of a soaring eagle open your mouth and talk to the lord in prayer open your mouth and talk to the lord in prayer they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength it's now time to rise up and shine time to rise up and fly over the red sea over river jordan over the mountain go higher go higher go higher and remember all the things happening to you they're just for your training all things will work together for you because you love god and because you are called according to his purpose remember your life is renewed no place for sickness in your life no place for infirmity in your life no place for failure in your life no place for discouragement in your life no place for attack no place for affliction no place for failure higher and higher you'll go better and better you'll become stronger and stronger you will be believe the lord has been talking about you believe you are that symbolic eagle you are that eagle becoming stronger and stronger you are destined to be the soaring eagle destined to be the soaring eagle in jesus name we pray every promise you have heard will be fulfilled in your life every characteristic of the soaring eagle that you have heard about will be fulfilled in your life in jesus name whatever your past has been if it was good your future will be better 
if it was bad your future will be different for your personal life for your domestic family life for your spiritual life for your professional life the way is now cleared before you all the thorns and the thistles that the devil surrounded you with that you couldn't move forward they are cleared out of the way now you think the thoughts of god concerning you your expected end is not failure your expected end is not sorrow your expected end is not defeat your expected end is not premature death your expected end is soaring like an eagle where is he or is she soaring like an eagle we caught all the chains that tie you down all the sorrow all the thoughts that make you looking back every time we caught you from that in jesus name egypt will not hold you down babylon will not hold you down the world will not hold you down you have escaped from their cage healing is yours success is yours promotion is yours happiness is yours that dream of a good future better future dreaming 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 fulfillment has come in jesus name your eyes will not be dim your eyes will not be blind arthritis will not keep you down in the house arthritis will leave your body you will use your leg you will use your eyes you will use your ears and the road that is clear before you now in the strength of the lord in the might of the lord you will walk majestically into victory in jesus name pain no more sickness no more infirmity no more premature death no more accidents no more crying 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 has come to an end joy and laughter in your life prosperity and goodness in your life who am i talking about wonderful father in the name of jesus we thank you because today all those negative things they are changed in jesus name any sickness there in the eye in the ear in the tummy in the blood in the bone any part of your body i command that sickness come out in jesus name all the bandage of the devil all the chain of the devil all the cords of the devil that tied you down to the past as daddy was so i am as mommy was so i am and all the cause generational cause of forefather forefather i clear everything away out of your sight rise up and be free in jesus name all the mentality of they fail because of that i'm going to fail they didn't succeed therefore i cannot succeed all that mentality of the world all the tradition of the world all this position of the world i command you get out in jesus name lord i pray power will remain will, will replace sickness authority will remain will, will replace defeat dominion will replace defeat in jesus name lord everything that was set back before i cancel it right now every
everything that was so demonic before i cancel it right now all the curse and all the yoke in your life i break everything in jesus name the name of the lord sets you free the blood of jesus sets you free the word of god sets you free the spirit of the living god sets you free be free be free rise up and mount up in jesus name from the top of your head to the tip of your tongue i pray that the anointing will flow every yoke will be broken go home now and go and succeed go home now and go and be productive go home now and go and be prosper go home now and go and soar and go beyond your expectation as you go there'll be a fulfillment in your life as you go there'll be a realization in your life the people will see that you are no more bound that you are free everybody around you will see that you are not a struggling eagle you are a soaring eagle no mountain will hinder you no river will hinder you no enemy will hinder you be triumphant be an overcomer go and be more than a conqueror from today greater is see that lives in you than that who is in the world when you come back come back with your testimony lord we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus